Right now, we are going to do one of the hardest problems that you could possibly get from this first unit of solving linear equations. So let's read it out loud together. We have six plus three halves times four X minus six equals one third times 12 X minus six plus four. So right away, I see that neither side is simplified. You need to simplify both sides before you do any solving steps. So what I'm going to do is just look at this left side, and I realize that this six has no parentheses next to it at all. So I'm just going to literally bring it down. But then I see that I have three halves times both of these terms. I'm going to explain my trick on how I multiply a fraction by a whole number. It's not really a trick, it's just knowing how fractions work. The top number is what we're going to multiply the whole number by, and the bottom number is what we're going to divide that number by. So basically it's like a multi-step problem right here. This 4 needs to have two things happen to it. It needs to be divided by 2, and it needs to be multiplied by 3. If you think of fractions as just division and multiplication problems in algebra, then you'll understand fractions so much better. So I need to divide 4 by 2, which is the number 2, and keep that number in my head, and multiply that number by the top number, which is 3. So I'm going to say it one more time. Divide by the bottom, then multiply by the top. So 4 divided by 2 is a 2 and multiply that two by three, and I get six x. Same thing, so that was my first distribution. My second distribution is a negative six divided by two, which would be negative three, multiplied by that three, which is a negative nine. Don't worry, if you got a little lost, you could pause it and replay what I just said to try and understand it better. We're gonna do another one right here, though. So I draw my equal sign and I realize that I also have another fraction multiplied by a whole number. Remember, I just think of fractions as a division problem. I'm going to take this whole number and divide it by 3, then multiply it by 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 1 stays 4, and don't forget it's multiplied by x. Then let's do it again. 1 third times negative 6 is really negative 6 divided by this bottom number. Negative 6 divided by 3 is a negative 2. And then I just multiply it by 1, which gives me the same thing, negative 2. Then I realize that this 4 is not in the parentheses at all, so all I do is just bring it down. Now I reevaluate my equation. I realize I have one more step to simplify on this side. I need to combine like terms. So I have 6 minus 9, that's going to give me a negative 3, but this 6x has no like terms, so I just bring it down. I combined these in my head already, and I can write minus 3 or negative 3, bring down the equal sign, and then I also have to combine like terms over here. The 4x has no like terms, so I just bring it down. But then I have negative 2 and a positive 4, which would combine to give me positive 2. Now I see that my left side is simplified and my right side is simplified, so I'm ready to start solving. But the first question I ask myself is, are my x's on all one side? Is they isolated? It's not, so I need to cancel out my x's by doing the inverse operation. The inverse operation of positive 4x would be to subtract 4x. Anything you do on one side, you have to go do on the other side to the like term. Then I see this is my zero pair, and then I just do some math. 6x's minus 4x's would give me 2x, then I just bring down everything else. Now we're out to a two-step problem. I'm going to cancel out the negative three by doing the inverse operation, which is add three on both sides. That's my zero pair, and I bring down my two times x, and that gives me five. And then the very last step, 
is I see that this is 2 times x. And the inverse operation of multiply by 2 is divide by 2. Anything you do on one side, you have to do to the other. This would cancel out to give me a 1x, which is what we wanted this whole time. And it's going to equal this fraction 5 halves. It's okay that the answer is a fraction. As long as you know how to simplify, you should be good.